Hello and welcome to 3 Dollar TV. I am your host Vishakha Thakur. You are watching the Coin Monitor. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets were trading higher as investors stayed cautious ahead of the US key macroeconomic events scheduled later in the week. Bitcoin traded near $26,000 mark. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading up by 0.4% at 3480 points. In an interesting piece of news according to data from Glassnode, the staking balance of Ethereum doubled from just 40.7 million ETH to 28 million ETH. Reports further highlighted that a total of 24.3 million ETH has been staked worth $40 billion which constitutes around 20% of the total supply. The JP Morgan Chase forecast of prices stabilizing soon supported cryptocurrencies to recover lost ground. The report attributed this outlook to a decline in open interest in CME Bitcoin futures contracts, which usually signals a weakening price trend. Meanwhile, the investing arm of One Inch Network, One Inch Investing Fund, has acquired a significant sum of Ether on its crypto wallet. According to blockchain analytics platform LookOnTrain, the purchase amounts to 6,088 ETH, which equals to an investment exceeding $10 million. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $1.05 trillion mark, increasing 0.4% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volumes increased about 16% to $23.4 billion. Moving on, Shiba Inu's new layer 2 blockchain Shibarium has surpassed 100,000 wallets on its platform, 35,000 of which were generated on the first day after Shibarium's release. Interestingly, according to data from Whale Alert, an anonymous wallet transferred around 29.2 million XRP tokens, equivalent to a staggering value of $15.2 million to the renowned Bitstamp exchange. Elsewhere, altcoins such as Binance, Cardano, Solana and others have bugged the trend by maintaining strong posture amid unlocking of altcoins that made their way to the market. Token prices for SUI and HBAR are falling as both projects face an increase in circulating supply later this week. Stock futures were trading flat as investors looked ahead to the final days of August month end. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 1 point. S&P 500 futures were down 0.01% and Nasdaq 100 futures slipped 0.05%. Bitcoin was trading at $25,956, up by 0.3%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 0.6%, trading at $1,642. On my left, BNB was up by 0.5% to trade at $217. Cardano's ADA token was up by 1% to trade at $0.26. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $10.4 higher by 3.8%. Polygon Matic was trading up by 0.3% to trade at $0.55. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading up by 0.7% at $0.062. Shiba Inu was trading up by 1.8%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.51, up by 0.2%, and Polkadot was up by 2.5% to trade at $4.5. However, Solana Soul was down by 0.3% and was trading at $20.2. And now let's move to a market analyst to know his views on the overall cryptocurrency market. Well, talking about the largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is trading sideways with very low volume. The support level remains the same, so there is not much to do at this point. Well, a break below $25,000 will bring negative sentiments in the market and heavy selling going forward. Well, that's all in the Coin Monitor. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more such updates related to the markets, please log on to our website www.3voicetv.io or scan the QR code. Auto TV stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3 Auto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 
Readout OTV delivers the news that matters. Weeks after a much hyped launch immediately died out due to several software faults that left millions of dollars in limbo on the network, token withdrawals out of the Shibarium bridge are finally active and accessible to users. Shib, Leash and Wrapped Ether withdrawals will take 45 minutes to 3 hours to process, according to a developer update, while withdrawals of Bone could take up to 7 days. Chief developer Shaitoshi Kusama stated that the team had taken steps to prevent an outage and worked with Polygon blockchain developers to rectify potential issues. Shibarium, a fork of Polygon, is an Ethereum layer to network using SHIB tokens as fees. It aims to position Shiba Inu as a serious blockchain project focusing on metaverse and gaming applications and as a cheap settlement for DeFi applications built on it. Golden Inu has been added to the CoinGecko crypto index listings, increasing its visibility to whales and shrimps who trade cryptocurrencies. Golden Inu, a popular new ERC20 token, was listed on CoinGecko on Friday, August 25 at around 6 a.m. Eastern. With a spike of 52% in trades, the new listing immediately led to an increase in the number of transactions for the Shiba Inu killer. The price of SHIB tokens increased by 0.01% after CoinGecko added the listing, leading to a sell-off by investors. The upward movement suggests a potential price surge for the rival. This news follows Golden Inu's beta launch of their play to one game, Golden Inuverse. Developers are answering questions and sharing visual updates on the CryptoCoin Ops community forum. Ethereum, the largest programmable blockchain and parent platform of ETH, has experienced the lowest daily fees in eight months, with total fees dropping to 1,709 ETH on Sunday. This is 89% lower than the year-to-date high of 16,720 ETH on May 5. Ethereum uses a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism with validators instead of miners to create and verify transactions. Validators who stake at least 32 ETH receive transaction fees but not in full. They receive a priority fee or tip to prioritize their transactions while the base fee is burned, removing ETH from circulation. A decline in total fees indicates low network usage as fees are determined by network activity, mainly pending transactions. The 8-month low end fees likely stems from Ethereum's increasing popularity on Layer 2 scaling solutions, a long-term positive development. Friend.tech launched on August 1 gained over 100,000 users and over $25 million in revenue in just two weeks. Layer 2 scaling solutions like Optimism, Arbitrum and Base help Ethereum scale, elevating congestion and reducing transaction costs. Into the blocks data shows daily transactions on Optimism mainnet reached a new all-time high of nearly 900,000 on August 15. Transactions between Ethereum mainnet and major layer 2s using optimistic roll-up technology reached their second largest value in history. As competition between L2s increases, Ethereum benefits.